Hello everybody. Welcome to the Thamakedar Faratidar and Mazdar session by Vedantu Young Wonders India's leading junior channel. My name is Pritesh. I'm your host your dose and a proud master teacher from Vedantu welcoming you to your grade 8 chapter reaching the age of adolescence session 2. So let's begin. Today we will be talking about adolescence the adolescence health whether it is reproductive health or physical health or you know uh, the personal hygiene and everything we'll also be talking about sex determination in human beings and the sex chromosomes before that i request all of you to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to vedanta young wonders because it's absolutely free of cost and also do share this video with all your grade 8 friends and school whatsapp groups now there's a week quiz that will be shared with you which is shared at the bottom of this video at the in the description box you can find the link to the quiz so make sure that you solve the quiz and let me know your score in the comment section below so let's begin we are talking about adolescence so we'll be talking about sex determination and the reproductive health in the nucleus of a cell you find the chromosomes these chromosomes you will find in every cell of your body now out of these chromosomes total there are 46 chromosomes in every cell of the human body total there are 46 chromosomes in every cell of the human body out of this 46 44 are body chromosomes body chromosomes or you can also call them autosomes 44 are autosomes and two are sex chromosomes or allosomes two are sex chromosomes or allosomes now these two in males are x and y and in females it is x and x so out of these two in males it is x and y in females it is x and x right now then we are talking about this now, you know sex chromosomes and uh, x and y and x and x so as i told you in every cell of your body you will find 46 chromosomes 44 will be autosomes 2 will be allosomes or sex chromosome if you are a male these two are going to be x and y and if you are a female it will be x and x now in the in a human male in a human male at a time a human male releases 3 million sperm cells how many 3 million at a time so out of these 3 million 1.5 will be x 1.5 million will be y so out of the 3 million sperm cells that a human releases 1.5 million are x 1.5 million are y now if the x from the male goes to the female before that let us understand what a female releases we already know that by the process of menstrual cycle a female releases only one ovum from one ovary in one month and this one ovum is going to be only x it is either x or x it will be only x so if the x sperm from the male goes into the female and fertilizes the egg it is going to be x plus x that is a daughter a female child and if the y chromosome goes from the father and it fertilizes with the ovum it is going to be a male child x and y so if it is x x it's a female if it is x y it is a male so in many parts of the country still a female is a mother is considered to be the one who to blame for the birth of a daughter but it is the other way around a female can produce only x chromosome now if the y from the father comes then it is going to be a male child if the x from the father comes it is going to be a female child so it is not the mother who is to be blamed whether the child is going to be a male or a female it is the father who is to be blamed whether it is going to be a male child or a female child now also it is not in control of the father that out of 3 million 1.5 million is y so i will send this because i want a son or 1.5 million is uh, uh, x so i want a daughter so i will send this no it is not even in the hands of the father it is not in control of anyone but the mother is not to be blamed for sure right so if the female has two x chromosomes see when a sperm containing y chromosome fuses with an egg it is develops into a male child when the sperm containing x chromosome fuses with the egg it is going to be a female child so it is not the mother who is to be blamed for the birth of a male or a female child 
right? You can see here on the table. So the father is x y, mother is x s. If x goes from father, mother can give only x, so it is going to be a daughter. If y goes from father, the mother can give only x, it is going to be a son. So it is dependent on the father's sperm, not on the mother's sperm, because mother's sperm can produce only x x x and x. A father's child, a father's sperm can produce x or y. Now. Adolescence is also an age where your body is continuously changing. It is going through a lot of physical, mental, emotional, biological changes. During these changes, during these phases of growth, it is very important that a proper nutrition, proper diet is provided to the adolescents for a functioning body and a functioning brain. So that is why a diet which is rich in proteins and carbohydrates is very important along with vitamins and minerals to the intake of water. Personal hygiene. So we already discussed that during this age, your body's oil and sweat glands are very, very active. So it's very important that you bath every day because you, you know, you should not smell, you should not stink. The sweat and the oil should not stink. And to remove the body odor, to stay clean and healthy, to not allow the bacteria and the germs to accumulate in the body, it's very important that you take bath daily. Similarly, females should keep a track of their menstrual cycle and prepare themselves accordingly. Like, you know, changing the sanitary pads after every few hours is compulsory. Even though the sanitary napkin is dirty or not dirty, disciplined or not filled, you must change it because uh, it is very important to maintain intimate hygiene. Even boys, it is very important that you clean your genital areas very nicely every day while you are taking bath because that is the space which is always covered. It accumulates a lot of sweat and it can become, you know, it can develop fungal or bacterial infection as well. So it's very important that you keep your intimate areas clean always. Then cleanliness of the body, there can be chance of getting bacterial infection. So it's very important that you clean your body Thoroughly. Apart from that, during this adolescence age, there is also a lot of energy accumulated in your body. And it's very important that this energy should be channelized in the proper manner. So for that, physical exercise is too much required. So 10,000 steps every day walking this, you, your parents, your grandparents, everyone must follow. Walking 10,000 steps every day, meditation, yoga, jogging, playing sports outside you know whether it is basketball or football or volleyball or anything playing out in the open where all your hands and legs are getting exercise it is super 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 important so exercise not only keeps the body fit but it also helps in relieving stress and maintaining mental well-being therefore adolescents uh, should indulge in sports exercises walking uh cycling and other physical activities okay Now, many times adolescents are fooled by others by saying that taking drugs would bring relief to them. They should always say no to uh, that as taking drugs can be dangerous for their health. Now, uh, uh, let me tell you one thing over here. That this age, the age of adolescence, it is a very, very tender age. It is a very, very sensitive age. It is very uh, natural for you to get inclined towards people who accept you and getting away from people who do not accept you or do not understand you. And it is very common uh, with families. So, you know, at this age, you might feel that, you know, your parents do not understand you. Your siblings do not understand you. They are always scolding you. They are telling you no, 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 no for everything. Whereas on the other hand, your friends, they are always saying, oh, you are such a nice person. Oh, yes. Oh, we take you. We are your family. So, it's very, it, it's very natural to get inclined towards, uh, you know, the people, those who are saying that we are your family rather than your real family. Now, what I want to tell you here is, I'm not saying that what your friends are saying is wrong or your friends are not your family or your friends are not someone, someone whom you can trust. It doesn't matter. What the important point over here is to rationalize, to uh, measure what is good and bad for you. Any substance, whether it is a medicine or a drug or any solid liquid or gas, anything which gives you temporary relief or temporary pleasure is bad for you, even if it is a painkiller. You know, many times uh, your parents or elders in your family, you would have taken, you, you would have seen that, you know, they are in pain. They have something is paining in their body and they just pop a painkiller. Painkiller is also giving only temporary relief. It is killing the pain for a while. The pain is not there only till the time you have taken the medicine. Once the medicine's effect is gone, the pain again comes back. 
Same as with drugs, anything which gives you temporary maybe relief, something which just makes you feel better for a few minutes or a few hours, it is not that you should resort to. Rather than do things like exercise, meditation, yoga, pranayama, which will make you strong, which will make you calm inside out and forever, not for temporary uh, time, right? So a big no to any kind of substance abuse. So now there is a quiz link which is given in the description. Make sure that you play the quiz and you let me know your score in the comment section below. I hope this session was informative. Do not forget to give this a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedant for Young Wonders, India's leading junior channel. It is absolutely free of course. And do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp group. Apart from that, if you want to talk to me about anything, then you have my Insta handle that is Pritesh underscore Vedantu. Just drop a message and I'll be there for you. Thank you so much guys. Have a great time. Lots of love. Take care. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.